Hey everyone, Mike Lang here again in my home vMix setup. Um, I'm going to turn this down for you just a second. I'm going to show you one quick way how to get a USB headset like this one into a remote access client like um, like Teradici. The PC over Ethernet clients or PC over IP clients generally don't work with USB devices like this. They don't work with what's, um, I believe it's called isochronous devices, anything that requires precise timing and audio requires precise timing. So analog headsets work, but what if you want a USB headset or what if you want to use a USB headset? So here's a quick hack. Get yourself one of these cables. Get a three quarter inch plain old stereo cable. Uh, it's got a plug just like this, not three quarter inch, eighth inch. It's got a plug like this on both ends. Get one of these. You probably got one laying under drawer somewhere. I know I do. I raided the basement, found a bunch of these. You take this, Plug it into your sound card output and plug the other end into your line input on the back of your sound card. We're going to take, we're going to make a loop back and I'm going to show you how to configure it in Windows. So come over here to Windows, open up the control panel and go to sound right here, sound. What you need to do now is open up the, the good old fashioned sound control panel that used to be buried in Windows. Click that open on the wrong screen. Let me move it over here. So what I'm looking for is I want to do, um, I want to do recording. Actually, no, I want to do playback. I want to do playback. And I have, I actually have two audio devices on this computer. So that's another thing you need to make this work. So I have a digital output and I have an analog output. My speakers are connected to the digital output with an uh, optical to uh, analog converter. But my analog output is free, which is this right here. Headphone analog out, and you can see my voice is coming through it by the, um, by the meters here. And then in recording, I've looped that in. The headphone analog out is looped via an old fashioned cable to my line in. And your line in device by default is sent through the PCOIP client to your remote system. And now when I log into my remote system, that line in virtual audio device is going to be hearing the microphone that I'm wearing on my head. So that's it. A old cable laying in your drawer can solve your USB headset issues and get your USB mic into your remote uh, vMix system or remote uh, device if you're running a, a remote client in the cloud. Hope you like this tutorial. I got more on the way.